it is estimated about 7 to 16 percent of all adult women are widows. This translates to over 245 million widows worldwide. And unfortunately, the world has not been kind to those human beings who have suffered the misfortune of losing their partners. Widows face many challenges wherever they are in the world. They are especially vulnerable in patriarchal societies like ours in Kenya. Widows lose a source of income and security upon the death of their partners, leaving them impoverished. Widows suffer social discrimination and are marginalized irrespective of culture. Many lose their basic human rights, including right to equal treatment and right to leading respectful lifestyle. Widows suffer economic hardship as they lose their right to own property, leaving them impoverished. As government, we have put in place various programs that provide opportunities for capacity building and skill training for the widows. One of the flagship programs is Access to Government Procurement Opportunities Program. The government, being the single largest consumer of goods and services, has for the last five years now dedicated a minimum of 30% of all its procurement to enterprises owned by the youth, women, and the persons living with the disability. The government has also established four affirmative funds administered by the ministry, especially through the State Department of Gender. The National Government Affirmative Fund, which is uh, managed by the women rep uh, in other counties, and you get an opportunity, and I heard Esther Pasari say she has been able to save some resources and share with the widows through that government effort. I would also want to let you know that government does not necessarily come on the ground on its own, but through various departments, various organizations, various uh, through parliament, we are able to reach out. And that's why when you remain organized in a group, then you have a voice, you have a space where you can be reached. We also have Women Enterprise Fund, which has done very well. This is, has been giving loans at affordable rates to women in groups. We have also Wesso Fund and Youth Enterprise Fund. And to me, this is very important because we know of all the empowerment for women or youth, Economic empowerment is number one. Because if we are economically empowered, and that's why even the skill training that we'll be looking for, it should be able to help you to get some money in the pocket. Not the chief guest, so mine is to welcome the widows that have come from Nairobi, Karuguni, Nairobi. The ones that are in from our city, I know to Konakazi. Sibyo, to Konakazi nyingi sana kufanyia wajane. Na ninataka kuambia, Kitu ya kwanza ile mumefanya vizuri ni kuwa kwa chama moja. Sindio? Tulikutana wiki mbili iliyopita tukazungumza kwa kama mutajipanga vizuri ndio unaweza kujitetea na hata kushikana na zile mikono za serikali ambao zimetendezwa kuwasaidia. Sindio? We have a number of widows losing a husband, losing, losing a loved one. Uh, losing your father, you know, also, you know, your mother becomes a widow, is very challenging. And our widows need protection. A lot of them complain about the fact that they have succession issues, uh, they have inheritance issues, um, they have uh, no knowledge. I've recently met widows that have no knowledge how their husbands' businesses were running. Kitu nataka kuwaeleza kutoka upande wa GAF na Women Reps position to may recognize the widows associations in our capital city. Tumewapatia bursaries na tumesema hatuwezi kwenda kwa civic education tuzungumze mambo ya widows pamoja na kila mtu. Hatuwezi hatuwezi kwenda civic education tuzungumze mambo ya PWDs na kila mtu. Hatuwezi kwenda pia hapo tuzungumze mambo ya single mothers na kila mtu. Kila group, they have different needs. Na 
needs ya windows sana sana ni vile wanaweza kuendelea kuangalia majamii yao vile wanaweza kuendelea kusimama imara wakijua hawana jinsi ya kuchunga hiyo ngoma yao sasa sisi kama gaf tumehakikisha tukutane nao tumeangalia zile projects wanafanya na tumezungumza tukasema we are going to work together to empower you upande wa bursaries tumewapatia allocation yao upande wa training na college tumewapatia allocation yao na pia upande wa economic empowerment na chama baada ya the next two weeks tutapeana groups pesa nilikutana nao as groups Nairobi tukawapatia maforms tukawaambia wajaze ili tuweze kuwasaidia in the government as other groups are being considered can our videos also be considered so that we may improve our voices is it a videos and i want to I want to thank our president because myself I have a position I'm a chair of the National Council for Student Services and that is the president who nominated us I want to thank the president and also our CS whatever they may have contributed for that position and we ask even the president to add us more and more is it just we do in various places The International Widows Day was declared by United Nations 2010 and was first marked globally on 23 June 2011 in an effort to empower widows and help them gain their lost lives. Our theme this year is skills training for widows supporting the sustainable development goals. There is a collection of global goals set by the United Nations General Assembly in 2015 to be achieved by the year 2030. The SDGs are part of resolution 70 over 1 of the United Nations General Assembly. <laughs> Thank you.